Hey folks, how are you about to wait again? So what happened? I am doing a part two to the Museum of Idaho. Uh, I found some more interesting stuff I wanted to share. And before I do, one fact I wanted to share, which is kind of interesting, is that the name Idaho does not come from Native American roots. It comes from, they named it, it means gem of the desert. Uh, so I thought that was pretty fascinating. Um, anyways, on with the tour. So continuing on. So we are now hitting some very deeply Western stuff, Western history of the state. Um, same rules apply as before. I'm just going to kind of skim through it and uh, you guys can pause it if you want to read what it says. But yeah, here we are continuing our tour of the Museum of Idaho here in Idaho Falls, Idaho. So, this is B back then. Kind of the traditional Wild Western, you know, style, you know. It still exists very much out here in South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Utah, Arizona, all those states. But obviously it's modernized quite a bit since then, but this is just uh, Joey's Barber Shop. We got some more stuff to read as we get closer, but I'm just kind of skimming through these uh, pictures, these uh, Sites here. Sheriff Graham County, Eagle Rock, Idaho. This is what they have right in here. It's kind of like some Western shops we see today. This is what the dentist used to look like in 1890 in here in Idaho. Painless. Painless. All right. So we got regional routes here. Um, the site was a uh, narrow crossing in Gamble, Snake River. Salt Lake City, Virginia City wagon. Oh. Ah, that's fascinating. This kind of tells a little bit of the history of the potatoes here. Idaho leads the nation in potato production. I'm not sure if any other state really produces it. Maybe they do, but Idaho is definitely what it comes to. Uh, irrigation, volcanic. Irrigation, fertile volcanic soils are the secret ingredients behind fluffy baking potatoes and french fries. I, dairy is Idaho's largest agricultural industry. There's more milk and cheese produced in Idaho than any state except California and Wisconsin. Wow. I'm surprised Vermont's not up there. All right. What else grows in Idaho? I don't know. Okay, barley, wheat, hay, onions, fruit. Um, kind of a little more of a tour here. Um, I guess this is what the schools used to look like there.
All right, let's see what we get over here. Eagle Block, Idaho Falls, 1940. Ah, some LDS history, because Idaho is pretty dominant. Uh, second to Utah, Idaho is very dominant in the LDS church. Uh, a lot of Mormons out here. Only state with more Mormons is Utah. I guess these are some of the state flowers. Wildlife refuge. I guess these are some of the animals. So Yellowstone Caldera, the big volcano, is literally on the border of Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. That's crazy. All right. There's a whole tour of all the governors of Idaho. There's like a slideshow that kind of talks about all the governors of Idaho. Um, if I go there, I mean, maybe you guys can, well, you guys can watch it, but it may bore you to death, so... Um, because it's going to go like one governor, two governor, three governor, fourth governor, fifth governor, you know how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go there, uh, because that might, that might bore you guys, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's, the governors of Idaho all have history with some of them with the Mormon church, others with like, played significant parts of the Mormon church or the old west, or the Mormon church just played a big part of the old west. Like, it's just kind of like, it's fascinating to, to, to understand that. Um. I am going to conclude this tour, but I just want to say thank you all for watching. I'm going to do some more reading off camera, but uh, like and subscribe. This is Javier Block 208. I'll talk to you later.